Um, I love this topic only because Trist, uh, because Tyvis changed his answer so so drastically. The question as it read was how badly do the Cavs need Trips, Tristan Thompson for the playoff run or do they not need him at all? And you on this answer have gone from, oh, he's gonna the most important Cleveland Cavalier to yeah. is he even one of the important Cleveland Cavaliers? Yeah, it's a... Uh because th when you think about it, if there, it depends on JB's lineup. If JB continues to run the two big man lineup with yeah. Mobley and Allen, then yes, he's important because now you need somebody to come in and take, still get rebounds when those two are getting a blow or one of them is off getting a blow. But if he, as we discussed, trades, changes this lineup in the playoffs to be where Allen's in and Mobley's out and they switch for each other, then he won't be as important as much as he is. But I tell you what, after watching that Chicago game, we did miss him on that no, rebound. No, we this definitely side, missed him sure. on the rebounds. Now, one sure. thing about Tristan, maybe he's not the greatest scorer, but that man gets rebounds. And right now, that's the only thing I think about right now is that Chicago game, how much we missed him in that Chicago game because he has that attitude towards him. You know, yeah. he's not going to let somebody push him around in the paint. He's going to be physical in there. He's going to get rebounds. And that's something that he can hopefully get to Mobley and Allen when we come playoffs. Yeah, man, you, you always need a goon. You need a goon come, come uh, you know, playoff time. You need somebody with the ski mask on. <laughs> that when somebody fouled Donovan Mitchell, you get a dude to be like, what you doing? Get off Donovan Mitchell. Get, get. Ooh. You need that goon attitude. Now, T-Top, he ain't going to give you much as far as points. He ain't going to give you much in terms of what he was do, able to do. Back in the day, people would forget Tristan Thompson was one of the first guys that helped the Cavs beat the Warriors because he could switch off. He wasn't giving up too much off the pick and roll. You can you show. He can ice. He can do all those different things. So uh, Tristan was, was a value part. Now he's more of a... It's more of a, a, a emotional leader. He's, he's more of a, a Jared Allen, don't you take that. You ain't got to take that. <coughs> Next time, I don't need you. Don't take that, Evan Mobley. He's one of those guys. So you need one of them dudes on the roster. I think that it, it, he'll, he'll pay dividends when you play in those teams, the, the Bostons and, and, and so on and so forth, the, the Sixers and stuff. Yeah, I, I agree with that. The enforcer role in certain series, there's going to be some matches matchups where I don't think he's needed. Right. Mm -hmm. There will be other matchups where you're going to need that body. You're going to need that effort. What I love about him is the effort on the rebounds, the defensive side of the floor. However, I think to properly answer this question, you have to ask another question. Who is Trimps, Tristan Thompson in 2024? Because when, when, when a player tests positive for performance enhancing drugs, steroids, HGH, you have to ask yourself, why was the player using that in the first place? Mm -hmm. Did the player realize that he had lost so much that in order to stay at the party, mm -hmm. he needed the sauce? Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid that the answer in this case might well be yes. So he may not be the Tristan Thompson without the performance enhancers that we saw in the first half of the season with. And, Jay, you got to look at it like this. When he first came back, I did notice a little bit, my man, Tristan ain't got the lift he used to have. Like, okay, I'm thinking Tristan was a, a rim runner, energy guy. Yeah. He mm -hmm. could out jump guys. He quick jump. I'm, he'd get to the second jump quicker than everybody else. But you got to re remember, Tristan Thompson is very undersized. Yeah. He is not seven foot. He's not six ten. Tristan Thompson, to me, may be six foot. Six. You look at look at him and LeBron in some of the more games. He, he looking right at LeBron, like six foot seven, six foot eight. He might be that, but he was always able to do it because he was had energy. He had that quick bounce, and he had that tenacious attitude. He still got the tenacious attitude, but that bounce it leaves us all at one point in time. What attitude will come in? We, yeah. That's the one thing I think we were missing in the playoffs against the. And Knicks. that's in your DNA. Yeah. Like I think he'll still have that. The yeah. question is, will he have the energy, hopefully, to bring it while he's out on the floor? One of the reasons that players use steroids, and I'm not sure exactly what he used. We could probably. I find had it. it. Yeah, I looked it up. It is. Uh, Ibu Tamorin and S A R M L G D 4033. Do we know what the benefits of using that drug are? Because some, it's recovery. <coughs> and if it's a recovery thing, you can understand why someone at his age yeah. would need a little recovery help playing in the NBA. I don't know what the properties are of that steroid. Uh, according to a quick Google search, it allows a person to increase body mass, grow lean muscle, and negate body fat. Okay, so maybe he was warding off the body yeah, fat. Okay, yeah, that's not that, – okay, I, that, that brings me hope that he can still 
bring the energy. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's a stimulant to, right. to the system. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I, the proof will be in the pudding. When, when he comes back, we'll get a look at what he looks like. And I do think there are certain series that the Cavs could potentially play in that first or second round, depending on how the seeding goes, where they could absolutely use the Tristan Thompson that we saw even at the beginning part of this year. Yep. So he has a role, and in the playoffs, it's all about roles. Mm -hmm. It's all about finding the right combinations and the right pairings to go against whatever lineup you're facing at that time. It's just another tool in JB's bag to be able to go to if he needs an enforcer, high-energy type guy. So he's important. He, I would put him in the mildly important category. Mildly. I would not call him the most important Cavalier. Hey. All right, we're taking a break.